Welcome back. 19 years ago, Indy's own Limon Brewster stunned the sporting world with a TKO of heavily favored Vladimir Klitschko, becoming heavyweight champion of the world. Brewster's latest venture, though, comes with the launch of the Champion Brew. So joining us this morning, former heavyweight champion of the world, Limon Brewster, and Champions Brew's Alicia Rogers, both with us here this morning. Guys, thanks Thank so much for being with us. We were watching the clips earlier from your fight a while back, mm -hmm. and I love to hear, first of all, you and Vladimir sort of keep in touch, don't you? Oh, yeah. Or you play chess against each other? Yeah, now? We're, we're trying to set that up. He's ducking me. Uh, I bet he is. <laughs> well, well, he better now because he didn't use chess. to. That's awesome. Oh, well, yeah. you're staying busy, no doubt. You're, you, how do you go from boxing to coffee? Well, it's something that I believe that God put on my plate because I was thinking about a way that I can try to help the um, nonprofit organizations around the city. And I was looking like everybody's selling popcorn and mm -hmm. all these things is really not too healthy for you. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking about coffee and I started thinking about my career. And every time I would run in the morning, I always had a trainer driving behind me sipping coffee. <laughs> <laughs> So I started looking into coffee and not too many people ever really endorse coffee. And I uh -huh. said, well, you know, this may be something that I can turn on to all the nonprofit organizations and really help them to find another way to um, earn money because yeah. our program is an incentive program to like the Girl Scouts of America, right. you know, instead of Girl Scout cookies, it's coffee for adults. I like that. <laughs> you know, bringing the Breakfast of Champions really to a whole new level and you brought us some coffee. It smells delicious. Yes. Um, talk about what kinds of different, like I know there's different beans, there's mm -hmm. different blends. What kind of coffee do you have? So this, this particular coffee is called the punch. Mm. We call it the original punch. And um, as you know, Ethiopia is the birthplace of all coffee. Mm. And so with what we have is a 20% um, makeup of this coffee. It's 20% Ethiopian and then 80% um, Honduran. Wow. Yeah, That's awesome. so it's a pretty nice blend. It's got a nice bold taste to it, so we call it the punch. Yeah. This is a collaboration, I know, and I mean, the name's perfect. Your name's per Bruce. I mean, uh, it's yeah. perfect, right? <laughs> right. But what's it like to, to sort of uh, work in the boxing theme also with, with the brew? Well, in the last year, I think that I've learned more about principles and life through the discipline of the sport of boxing than ever before. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing to watch the coaches working with the youth, mm -hmm. and uh, Layman is an amazing mentor, and he's an inspiration. So he applies, uh, you know, the 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 things he learned in the ring and how he won his title and mm -hmm. you know the fight before the fight and everything he went through it can also be applied to business as well Absolutely. so he's a, he's a great leader that's the, great it's also helping your good cause yes. uh, tell us about you know who's benefiting from this mm -hmm. other than just a good cup of coffee yes. uh, right uh, the, the benefits from this whole venture so what I'm doing is I'm taking part of the proceeds and I'm for all the area codes that support the coffee what I'm doing is I'm buying houses in those area codes for people the age out of um, foster care mm -hmm. to wow. give them a place to live of course the guys suffer from the girls but you know when these when these young individuals age out of foster care they have nowhere to go mm -hmm. they have no family they have no money and so that just um, makes our crime rate that much worse sure. because it's, it's, it's it's a very small window of success if you are 18 and cast out on the street, no family, nowhere to go. So the por portions of the proceeds will be going to buying houses in the communities that support the coffee to help these young men to get off the street. And of course, not to just get off the street, but Bruce's Place, um, which is the nonprofit organization, what I'm able to do is have them to, to be a part of this organization, which is designed to teach them um, financial literacy, mm -hmm. help them to further their education, help them to just be more productive people. And, and one of the caveats for me is that they have to associate back with a local boxing gym because yeah. there's a Lehman Brewster mm -hmm. in every boxing gym That's right. so they have a sense of family. That's, That's incredible. Awesome. <laughs> so hey, you buy some of the coffee, you're helping this good cause. Where can people find you? I know you just had the, the grand opening. 
Yes, well, I'm going to gonna swing that over to you, yeah. Ms. <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you can find us at www.thechampionsbrew.com. Uh, the Champions Brew. The Champions Brew. Yeah, you leave out the the. Yes, www.thechampionsbrew.com. Mm. Yeah. And on social media at The Champions Brew. Yes, and I was checking out the website earlier. There's awesome. lots of great information about them and their cause as well as their blends of coffee. And, of course, we'll have that link for you up later on today on our website, fox59.com. Guys, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having us. That's a heavyweight yeah. fist bump. Thank you. Yes, yeah, sir. Heavyweight fist bump. <laughs> hey, we'll be right back. Stay with us.